I'm going to show you guys how to achieve a simple makeup look. So, ew, that is what I look like in the morning. So, I get my baby skin primer and literally rub that all into my face. Um, if you don't rub it in, it just goes all like clumpy and disgusting. So, make sure you rub that ish in. So, my next thing is my Born to Glow NYX Illuminating Primer. Now, this stuff, I literally... I bought it on a whim, like it was an emergency situation, and I thought, let me buy it, see what happens, and I'm not going to lie, like, I absolutely love, 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 love this thing, like, sometimes, like, if you're not wearing makeup and you just want to have this, you just look healthy and glowy and nice and ready for all the bullshit in the day. So next, I use my Fit Me foundation. Now, I'm not going to lie, I don't don't really know how I feel about this foundation like it's not like oh my god I need to have it type thing but then I bought it so I just use it and it's the closest thing to my skin color at the moment because my face you can tell how light it is in comparison to the rest of my body but yeah all that summer tan summer is over so it is going and my face always is so light in comparison to like my arm and my neck so annoying but literally just blend that all in with the beauty blender i think i got this beauty blender from sally's and i just like it. it just it feels great it feels nice they all feel pretty much the same to me i'm not gonna lie so i get my clinique i think it's all in one foundation or two in one foundation concealer thing i'll put everything below anyway because i never remember anything but this is literally the only product, if you've been watching my YouTube videos, you know that this is the only thing I can find that literally covers my under eye circles, like, in, like, magic. And that's why I have so much of it left, because I only use it for my under eyes. I felt like it broke my skin out a lot, and Clinique always does, even though it's meant to be all, like, good for your skin and whatever. It's not for me, anyway. I've got sensitive skin. So next I'm using the Revolution um, Concealer. I bought my shade in Banana. Like my boyfriend found it so funny that I'm buying Banana. But like it's yellow and I'm yellow. So I needed to find something yellower. So I feel like this is a great highlight for me because it kind of, you can see it blends into my skin nicely. And it doesn't look really harsh. But it does, you know, it does what it needs to do really. Because I hate that whole white, white highlighter effect and... Not here for it, man. As long as I can still look like my cheeks are lifted and still be like a yellow tone and looking healthy. Actually, that's so weird. Yellow. Every time I think of yellow skin, I think of jaundice. I think that's how you spell it. Spell it? Say it. Jaundice? Jaundice? Jo I don't know. I don't know. Like, this is why I never do voiceovers. I always chat so much shit. It's ridiculous. So bad. Right, so next I use my banana powder. Like, yellow is just my thing for my face. Like, I like my face looking yellow. And I literally just put that all in my little triangle area on the sides of my nose as well. And this is me doing my eyebrows. I didn't really want to include me doing my eyebrows because I was in a rush this morning. So, like, if you're in a rush, this is the easiest way to just quickly do your eyebrows. So I just got, like, a brown eyeshadow for one of my Morphe palettes and didn't do anything crazy except, you know, fill them in and just do a little bit in the front because my eyebrows are really short in the front but that was literally it and so I'm getting my oh, I didn't even show the product what am I doing so I'm just getting my bon, I think it's bon, is it bonjour or is it bonjour I don't know okay I really don't know but I'm getting that chocolate it has a chocolate on it but I don't think it's called a chocolate bronzer but it has a chocolate on it so you know what I'm talking about just getting my bronzer and literally putting it in all the places that I contour what I like to do is just literally dab it on rather than brush it on because what I found is that when I brush things on I get like you know that horrible patchiness that you get with um like foundations and like you know when you put too much on your face and then it starts to go all weird but I feel like it happens with me with bronzer a lot so that's when I'm like rubbing it so just I rub it under my chin so it actually blends in my foundation well but do not rub it on your forehead or your cheeks. So I'm also contouring my nose a little bit. If I'm wearing makeup, I have to contour my nose because you'll see even like when I've put foundation on, my nose looks so wide after. It just makes my face look like 
so like undefined i can't believe back in the day we never used to contour like what were we doing what were we doing so now i'm just getting my nyx matte bronzer this one's a lot darker as you can see than the other bronzer so i'm just putting this in the areas just like right on the edges of the contour if that makes sense so you'll see like on the cheeks i don't go too far down just to blend it out though but i don't want to like blend it too much and obviously i put too much there if you do put too much on there just do like really light circular motions to blend it all out but that's just what works for me you know i i don't know why i always love bronzer i feel like i just don't look right with bronzer like a lot of people would have stopped at the first bronzer and feel free to do so feel free to just use one bronzer but i'm too extra with that shit like i need to look as brown as i can and as bronzed as i can so that's just me if you want to look like this then you follow it if you don't you know where to stop but otherwise, I just put them on the edges of my nose contour. And that's the happiest you've seen me in the video. Because I got a new highlighter that I couldn't open. And I'm a fucking savage. So I just ripped that shit off. But I got the, um, what was it called again? Laura, not Laura Mercier. Is it Laura Mercier? Laura Geller. That's it. Laura Geller Baked Gelato Highlighter. And I'm not going to lie. Like, I like it. But, like, I didn't think that. I don't know if it's just me and I love extra highlighters, but it wasn't that, like... In real life, it was a lot more natural than how it looks on camera. Right now on camera, you can see the glow. But I felt like in real life, that glow wasn't like, oh my god, you're glowing. It was kind of like, oh, you look nice. Mm, nice. Like, it was that type of glow. And I'm used to, like, a blinding. I want a blinding highlight. Like, I only want my highlight to be, like the center of attention on my face because it just looks sensational but I feel like if I wanted to go for an everyday look then this highlight is probably the best one because it blends in really well with simple makeup but I don't know maybe I need to like tone it down a little bit but I'm heavy-handed as hell but yeah that's just what I like I like the crazy highlighters so I'm just using some of my makeup revolution blush I like to put it on my cheeks and my little nose now that the foundations of my lips I look awake and alive I hope you guys enjoy this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more. Love you guys.